Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to just be showing you guys some thoughts that I have over this game right here, Black Ops 2, I'm Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, well, when I first popped in the game, I um, I pre-ordered it on the midnight release, got the care package and all that, and uh, got the zombies, the Nuketown Zombies and Nuketown 2025. The first thing I played was the Nuketown Zombies, and I was blown away. I love what they did with the map. I love it so much. It's it's exactly like the regular Nuketown from Black Ops 1, except it's all torn up and shit, and then you get to, like, open up these things that you thought you'd never be able to open, like that thing in the back of the yellow house, that little fallout shelter thing, I think it is. I don't know. It's, it's like a... It always has a power-up behind it, um, and it's pretty badass. And then, like, you can, um... Do an Easter egg for a song that kind of sounds like the one from Dead Ops Arcade from Black Ops One, and um, and then after that, I just I got to like round twelve, and it's awesome. You just rape train. You could you could have a perfect rape train in either the back of the blue house or the yellow house. It's awesome. But um, after I got done playing zombies, or I after I got done playing Nuketown zombies, I popped in Black Ops Two zombies, or sorry, not Black Ops Two Transit. Yeah, started playing Transit. Um, I like it a lot. It's kind of frustrating when um, you play online and these people like get in the bus on the earliest round they possibly can. They don't want to stack up points. They just want to get on the bus because they're too scared of zombies killing them. Like, it may sound mediocre because it is. They they leave you. They will leave you. Like one guy, he could piss off three fucking people just by leaving, and then those three people might get mad and want to leave the game. You know, it's just it's bullshit. And then um. <laughs> but the one player is awesome on the transit. Everything about it, about the everything about the zombies, I absolutely love, except for the fact that you can easily get pissed off and troll people in zombies. I'm just glad they didn't make it possible to take other people's tombstone perks because that would cause a lot of fucking trolls. I swear to you, that would be the biggest troll thing of this year having to do with Call of Duty. But then the multiplayer. It's awesome. I love it. The only thing I have to complain is the knifing. Or actually, you know what? I do have some other things to complain about. I'm gonna I'm gonna run through those after I talk about the knifing. They said that they fixed the knifing by taking away the boost, but really all they did was nerf it. You know, you can't boost whatever, but it's like you can It's like all right. Even yesterday I was playing Black Ops 2 online. And this guy was right in front of me, and I knifed him, and he barely backs up like that, and then he fucking knifes me. And it's like, oh my god, this knife is completely nerfed. They messed up the knifing more than they actually fixed it. Don't think I want the knifing like it was in Black Ops 1 where you can knife a dude from fucking mile away, okay? I don't, I don't like that. I think they should have kind of maybe got the knifing more balanced, like between the Modern Warfare and Black Ops 1 knifing. Take away the boost... And the, the horrible hit detection it used to have with the knifing in Black Ops 1. And give it more an accurate, but, but like, if you, you obviously had this guy, you should be able to get that kill, you know? And, um, and yeah, and, like, other thing I have to complain about is some of the guns. A lot of the submachine guns have the same exact iron sight. It looks exactly the same when you're aiming down your sights. And um, the accuracy with those iron sights isn't the best. That's why it's better to have a reflex on a gun such as maybe the MP7 or the Vector. But, um, yeah. And uh, the the, the submachine guns are pretty much dominating the, gun right, the game right now from what I see. I see tons of people using the MP7, the Vector, and the, uh, what is it? The one that's kind of... I don't know, I forgot the name, but the submachine guns are pretty much dominating it right now. And they're not... They made the submachine guns to where they're not too weak and they're not too strong. They're, like, perfectly balanced. You can just run around the map with them. You can get far kills, but if if you want to get good kills and feel nice and satisfied from getting them far away, use the, uh... What is it? The the one that looks kind of like an AK-47, the a, AN-94, I think. AN-98. But, yeah... And the maps, I like the maps. The only thing I have to complain about is that they're not as accessible as they used to be. You know, they're more like there. And you you don't, you they they feel like they, they made it to where you're not supposed to feel like you can get on top of too much stuff. You're supposed to be on the ground killing people. 
it's not camper friendly, but it is kind of camper friendly. Like maps like uh, Standoff, that is a very camper friendly map. And um, what else? A map like Plaza, that's that's my that's my least favorite map on Black Ops 2 right now because I don't like the way the the colors are. But that's not the only thing. I don't like how it's all tight corners and shit. You know, you gotta like. You know, when you're uh, by the lake or whatever, you turn this corner and then there's a dude right here. You just gotta go on that sniper tower and you, you never, it never works out. But overall, Black Ops 2, awesome game. If you haven't already got it, go out and get it. It's a good game. You feel like you got your money's worth.